All right, man. So here we are in the preseason. Of course, we're coming in unranked. You know what I mean? That's that's expected. You know what I mean? We, we surprised everybody. We weren't supposed to be that good last year. But we're going to go ahead. Before we do the uh, recruiting and everything, we're going to go ahead and, and determine everybody that's going to red shirt. You know what I'm saying? We'll, maybe we'll red shirt him. Maybe we'll red shirt Langdon just so he can give us more depth next year. If anything, we can cut him. No running backs. I think we redshirted all the ones we could. We'll redshirt one of these fullbacks. Um, hmm, Jack Hawkins. Can he play? So we'll go. It looks like Jack Hawkins is going to be the one freshman that actually gets redshirted. Um, Jeremy Vaughn. Oh, that's the fast dude with, with no excel. We'll go ahead and... I wish we can kind of use 95 speed, but it's not really 95 speed with 85 Excel. But maybe we can use him. What is he, a fifth receiver? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll go ahead and redshirt him just to be have you good money next year. We'll redshirt uh, Leon Harrison. I want to redshirt Quentin Parker, but we, we need two tight ends every now and then. Uh, we'll redshirt this freshman left guard. Freshman right guard. Freshman right tackle. Oh, he's a uh, transfer anyway, so he had to sit out a year. Uh, that freshman starting at left end. We'll go ahead and rush to the freshman. I mean, a senior right tackle, right end. Uh, one of these D tackles. We're going. I was going to rush to Mike Johnson, but I think he's ready to play now. Even though you know, what I'm saying this fullback is ready to go, but he's just quicker on the off, onto the ball. Ninety-one Excel. We got a. We got a fifty-six. Overall freshman, whatever, we'll red shirt you. None of these corners are going to get red shirted. Go ahead and red shirt Reagan. He can hang around next year. And then McClinton, no, and then no. So, all right, red shirt is done. All right, man, going over to uh, the death chart here. For the most part, everything's going to be in order, but it's a few things we definitely have to change and switch out. Crazy Colts and Harrison, both, you know what I mean? They probably thought they were going to be one and two this year. They're actually still three and four. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're going to actually go ahead and put put Harrison in the slot, though, because he's 90 speed, 91 excel. Coast is only 84 speed. Tight ends are good money. Left tackle is good. Left guard. The line is going to be set. I'm not going to make anybody want to move around there unless it's a freshman. We want to play over somebody. We'll go ahead and play the freshman over Rhea. Same, same overall. You know what I'm saying? We'll let you get that experience. While in death chart, I realized we are going to go ahead and red shirt Mike Johnson because we actually got a cornerback, you know what I'm saying, in Hyatt, the nickelback. He's going to, you know what I mean, help out and play some linebacker and use his speed to fly around the field. So what we're going to do is move Reynolds up. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> so what we're going to end up doing in the death chart, we're going to move Sharp over Reynolds since he has speed, and we'll put him in the, in the, in the nickel. Sharp and then Hyatt when he's not playing linebacker can come back and play some nickel. But I think that's how Sharp ended up playing nickel a lot last year. You know what I mean? Hyatt, you see here helping out at linebacker at the linebacker position. I'm low key. I low key want to start him over Christensen, but Christensen played pretty well last year. But he don't got the speed, so we'll go ahead and switch those two. Hyatt's gonna be the number one middle linebacker. Christensen could be the number two. Feel about it how you want. Then we'll go ahead and move Hyatt and Sharp around a little bit. And we can actually play the nickel nickel. You know what I mean? Free safety be good. Strong safety. Hyatt is the backup everywhere. That man's going to be tired on the field this year. Do we actually have some speed for punt return this year and kick return? I know we got a 95 speed somewhere. I'm just going to put speed. There we go. Patrick, 95, 95. You know what I'm saying? Who's the next fastest person with Excel? Sharp. Do I want Sharp to get tired back here? Yeah, we'll throw Sharp back there. All right, so that's our new uh, return, guys. A little bit more speed than we had last year for sure. All right, man, here we are uh, putting together our recruiting board. We actually got three four-stars that want to come to the squad off rip. You know what I'm saying? First on their list, a tackle, wide receiver uh, in the corner. But let's go ahead and take a look at our team needs. I know we're going to need a quarterback. So that's the only thing we need on offense. And then we need a corner and a punter on defense. Okay, okay, okay. So we got one corner on the list. As far as going to these positions, excuse me. 
got a one-star punter who wants to come to the squad, and I know we need corners, so we're gonna go ahead and add them all to the list. We got one with four three speed. You know what I mean? That's not bad. We definitely want the speed out here. And then this quarterback list. You know what I mean? Three stars galore. Here's a four star whose list we're on. That'd be huge for us if we could if we can get a four star quarterback. We're gonna recruit a lot of them though. We're going we're gonna see if we can get in. And of course throughout the year we're gonna see if we can add some more, you know what I mean, uh different uh positions in here and everything like that. But for the most part, we're just gonna try to get what, what it is we need. All right, man, recruiting board is set. Time to scout. Make sure everybody's good money. Negative two, but he still still got some good good blocking. Wide receiver, another slow wide receiver. I don't know how I feel about it. You know what I mean? But we'll keep him on there for the time being. This corner, 88, 89. He can cover. He can definitely cover a man. Press a little bit. This punter, you're a punter. That don't matter. Another corner, plus two. These dudes are supposed to be fast. You know what I'm saying? Supposed to be four three four four speed. It's a 92, but it's slow excel. More slow excel. That's why that's why they three stars. Okay, 94 90. This dude's gonna be trash unless he's a gym. We get him out of there ASAP. 55 overall is not cutting my team. See what these quarterbacks talking about. Plus six, 81 speed. Nothing special. This dude don't go up at all. He's 64. Eh, nah, I'm good. 75, he went down. He's not even that fast. You're not worth it. Ronald Matthews. I need to find a gym. I want to find a gym quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. We got one right there. Can't throw all that well. We can run a little bit, but, you know what I mean? Probably better than a lot of things we got. But we also have a sophomore who's going to take the reins after this year. So, you know what I mean? Got a chance to learn from somebody. I saw linebacker 83, 94 speed. Okay. And lastly, a tackle. He's a 70. Didn't go up or down, but I think I think that's good. All right, man. Here we are making the schedule. This is the biggest. This is the make or break of how we get ranked throughout the season. We're going to put some ranked opponents on there. We're not going to get too crazy. We're not going to throw the best schools on here, the Alabamas and everything, just so you know, quite yet. But we are going to throw some hard schools on there. We played Oklahoma last year. Northwestern's ranked. I'll throw them on there. That's going to help our strength of schedule. We'll make that our first game. And we'll play that at home. Then we're going to have two bye weeks in a row. Crazy. Oklahoma State. I guess we need two weeks to prepare for that. Ball State. Get them out of here. Let's see if we can get our, uh, our arrival in here. Nope. Rutgers. Rutgers. I sound retarded. Rutgers isn't available. You know what I mean? We'll play Wisconsin. I'm not going to make it too easy. But I'm also, I also want us to win games. You know what I mean? To get better. So as long as we just play some of the bigger schools, we'll be all right. Virginia, plus to play Washington State at home. I wouldn't mind traveling to Hawaii. You know what I mean? Let's go. Let's do that. Let's travel to Hawaii and play there. Replacing Kent State with we'll replace Kent State with Arizona State. Air Force stays there. Rivalry game. Wake Forest is a harder squad to play. You know what I mean? But we can play somebody just a little bit harder than that. You know what I mean? Where'd they go? Who was I just looking at? I feel like Utah might be a little harder than, than Wake Forest. No, we'll, we'll, we'll stick with Wake Forest. We'll keep them. It doesn't change it at all. Western Kentucky. See who we, we could replace y'all with. Hmm. No, but I'm just not playing Notre Dame. You know what I'm saying? So, we got ourselves in oh, Idaho. We got Stanford right there. We'll go over the whole schedule at the end in a minute. Texas would be a hard squad. USC might even be ranked by the time we play them. All right, USC makes makes the schedule uh, A minus. So going over the schedule real quick. Northwestern week two. Then we got to buy to week five. Wisconsin, Virginia, Hawaii, Arizona State, Air Force, Wake Forest, Western Kentucky, Stanford, USC, and then you know what I mean our annual game with Navy. We need revenge. We took that L last year. So, you know what I mean? We're ready to move on to the season now. All right, man. Coming into week one, we got uh, two preseason All-Americans, nine preseason All-Conference, and then we found one gym. Quick look at the uh, at the preseason polls. You know what I'm saying? You got Ohio State, Mississippi State. They, they finished one and two last year. 
Bama's four, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. You see just some of the names. You know what I mean? Louisville rounds at the top 25. Now, where is Army? Where are we? You know what I mean? Where do we find? Okay, we are only ranked number 42 in the country. You know what I'm saying? That's not bad. We're a three-star prestige now. We won a bowl game. We went 11 and 2. You know what I mean? Surpassed a bunch of, you know, um, predictions and expectations for ourselves. Heisman watch list in, um, includes Bryce Love, Jonathan Taylor, Dariq King, Benny Snell Jr., and Lamar Jackson. Yeah, I know my rosters are pretty old when I started this franchise. Vikes fan 059 was it done yet, so deal with it. You know what I mean? Lamar Lamar Jackson is here one more year. Now we're going to look at the preseason All-Americans. They said we had a couple probably on defense. Yep. We got Jalen Sharp and Elijah Riley. They're, uh, they're, they're on watch this year from, you know what I mean, by the whole country. So at least we got two first-team All-Americans, you know what I mean? Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the all independent squad. Uh, Asbury, I'm pretty sure we still got our two corners. Oh, we got Kenneth Brunson, Cole Christensen, Elijah Riley, Jalen Sharp. That's all on the first team, second team. Cam Harrison, who's like not even in a slot, or I think he is in the slot, but he maybe the slot to get some work. We got a right guard, we got a cornerback, Marcus Hyatt, and uh, Jalen McClinton for the second team. And then championship contenders, where you know me, we're ranked 42nd next year, projected to be 81, 60, then 43. They don't have any, you know what I mean, faith in our recruiting or anything like that. So, yeah, man, we're going to get this recruiting board ready, and then we're going to head into week two, and that's when we'll pick up next episode. Um, you know what I mean? This is probably part two of the off-season video by now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a long video. I'm at 42, you know, 52 53 almost at 43 minutes right now but you know what i mean uh it was a great first season with the black knights a lot of great games well we we could have very easily run the table we lost a close one in navy and we gave it away against uh oklahoma and I'm, i think we could play a lot better this year even though we lost some key pieces so uh you know what i mean if you enjoyed stop and smash that like button hit me up in the comment section below subscribe if you're new it's your boy uncle sam's reject rkgames.com i'm out of here peace